Okay, so what is the objective of today's lecture is uh, we are going to study about OSI management, OSI network management and understand the comparison of other management standards. So before we actually start with OSI management, we will understand the overview of all the five management systems which are there. So a compar uh, comparative question usually comes about these various uh, management standards. Okay, so usually, uh, kya hota hai? students get confused network models or network standards. So please follow this particular model or module carefully because standards are different, models are different. Okay, so uh, don't get confused what is standard and what is model. So in the due course of this uh, particular chapter, I hope you will understand ki standard kya hai or model kya hai so that you don't get confused while you are writing the answer. So what will be the learning outcome of today's lecture is the students will be able to compare various network management standards and analyze their functioning. So here in today's lecture, we are concentrating on the management standards. Okay, and how do they work? Okay, so these uh, were the topics uh, which I had showed you. Now let us start with the OSI standard. Now what I am going to do is there are five standards. So I am picking up two, two at a time and then I will project a table which will have the comparison or the keywords from all these standards. So OSI standard uh, is your open system interconnection management standard. It is the standard that is adopted by the ISO, that is the International Standard Organization. And the protocol for management, which is used by the OSI standard is CMIP. Please write down the keywords and the full form because I will say it is all theoretical. I will say ye function hai, ye function hai. And in the end, once you listen, might be if you're listening carefully, it gets registered. And the next moment it vanishes. Okay, because all of the new terms which we will be studying in this uh, particular module. So at least have a book or a page. Okay, and you can file up those page where you at least write down the keywords or the new name. Otherwise, frankly speaking, you will be lost. Okay, so the protocol that is used for OSI standard is called as the CMIP protocol. We will study CMIP in detail in this chap uh, chapter only. So CMIP is your common management information protocol. So OSI uses CMIP protocol for network management. Now the OSI management protocol has built-in services. Okay, so those services we call as CMISE. So CMISE are the services. So what is the full form of CMISE is your common management information service elements. Now, how many services are there? There are seven services. Now, the moment I say seven services, the student feel that ki OSI is seven layers. Hai. So if for every layer, there is a service. No, it is not like that. It is not layer wise service. We have nothing to do with the seven layers of OSI that is used for communication purpose. Now, when I talk of seven services, I am intending at the management related services. So OSI uh, CMIP uses seven services and those seven services are called as common management information service element. So we will see what are those seven services. Okay, so these seven services, it specify the basic services needed to perform the various functions. Now these are various function means the management related function. It is the most comprehensive set of specification and it addresses all the seven layers. So if I compare the OSI standard management standard, we can say that the standard is very comprehensive, very detailed way they had given or specified the standard. Okay, so OSI specifications are object oriented. Not all standards might be object oriented. So your OSI specifications are object oriented, hence the managed object 
are based on classes and inheritance rule. Okay. Besides specifying the management protocol, that is CMIP, CMIAC, it also addresses network management applications. So they also handle applications. So till now it was all okay. It is most comprehensive. It addresses all the seven layers. It uses CMIAC for providing the services. But the major drawback of the OSI management standard were it was very complex and the CMIP stack was very large. So to overcome this drawback, okay, because the complexity was more, seven services were there and this was the first standard which came up. Okay, so it was found out to be complex. So the people wanted to make something simpler because they felt that the OSI standard was complex. So what the next protocol, the name they gave is simple network management protocol. Why simple? Because they felt OSI was complex and let us make something simpler. So the name came simple network management protocol or you can call it as SNMP protocol. Okay, so the in contrast to CMIP protocol, so CMIP protocol is used by OSI. The simple network management protocol is the most widely implemented network management system. So you cannot forget SNMP once you finish this particular course. Okay, so the most widely used management system is your SNMP that is your network, a uh, simple network management protocol. So now, now we have various versions of SNMP. See, when they wanted to make something simpler from OSI, what they did ki OSI may seven services there. So they tried to reduce those services. So when SNMP version one came, they had only five services. So hai, five services provide kar rahe So they felt that the complexity was less. Then they felt ki, okay, this, this aspects of management are missing. Okay, so then in the SNMP version 2, they improved those things. And again, two new services or you can say two new messages were added. So, wapas se SNMP version 2 may seven services uh, came. Then currently we are into SNMP version 3. Okay, and that is the final one which everybody is using, the industry or internet is using. Now, version 3, they added one more. So, if you see SNMP version 3, it has eight services or you can say eight management related messages are there. So, they wanted to make it simpler, but they felt key. No, no, no. These things are required. Any management uh, so should have all these services. So then they kept on adding those services, but that does not, uh, they never commented that SNMP version three became complex. Okay, so it's the name remained the same, simple network management protocol. And then we had version one, version two, version three. All the three ver versions are there in your syllabus. Okay, so the primary idea of SNMP was to manage internet components only. That's why we say internet management is done using SNMP. But now SNMP is used to manage WAN and your telecommunication system. So you can see that from this one slide only, the importance of SNMP, the most widely used, you can say it is simpler compared to your OSI. In case a comparison between OSI management, network management protocol and SNMP network management protocol comes, you can jot down all these points. Okay, so as I said, two uh, points or two standards I will take and then I will uh, show you a comparison chart. So here you can see the comparison chart. The chart is there in my notes. It is there in the book also of money. So from there I have taken a screenshot. So if I see OSI, uh, which uses CMIP protocol. So it is an international standard, okay, given by the ISO. It is used for the management of data communication network, LAN and WAN. It deals with all seven layers. It is most complete, we said no, comprehensive set of protocol. It is object oriented, well structured and layered. But the drawback it is we call it as complex and it consumes large resource in implementation. Now, if I see SNMP that is used for internet management, it is the industry standard. 
which is given by the organization IETF. Now IETF ka full form is uh, uh, International Engineering Task Force. Okay, so IETF is the industry standard. It was originally intended for the management of internet, but it is currently adopted for WAN and telecommunication. So this is the most widely used standard. It is easy to implement when I compare it with your OSI standard, and it is most widely implemented. So here we are not saying that OSI, even though it was the first standard, it had all these advantage. We don't say that it is the most widely used uh, standard. Your SNMP rather is the most widely used standard. Next is the third one is your TMN. Okay, so TMN is designed to manage telecommunication network and it is oriented towards the need of telecommunication service provider. So we have all the telecom uh, companies uh, PSTN that is working. So they use the TMN standard. So it was just separately designed to manage telecommunication network. Okay. So for the telecommunication service providers, we will use the telecom management of network that is TMN. Now TMN standard was found out by ITUT that is International Telecommunication Union, uh, telecommunication specifically. And it is based on OSI. See, OSI actually was never directly implemented, but the later standards which came up, they took the framework of your OSI. So your TMN standard is based on your OSI, or you can say CMIP, CMIIC specification. OSI is the standard, CMIP is the protocol, CMISE are the seven services which is uh, provided by the OSI standard. Now, uh, see, this is all in one slide. And remember, we have one chapter dedicated to all these standards. So currently, just what is the idea of various standards? TMN extends the concept of management beyond managing network and network co components. So here, we will feel hard. So telecommunication network he manage karna hai or uske components or uske services. So this becomes very small domain. No, here they have said that it extends the concept of management. Now it is not just a single line or you can say some words. When we actually start with the chapter of TMN, the question comes ki TMN ki zarurat kya thi? We had OSI, why we did not go with OSI and because here you can say it is based on OSI. So we could have directly implemented the OSI standard in the telecommunication network. So the question comes, what was the need of TMN? So your chapter begins with what is the need of TMN? So we will say, kya kya zarurat tha, kya kya missing tha. Okay. And to incorporate all those missing components, this TMN standard was there because it is extending the concept of management. So we will understand at that point of time key, what do we mean by extending the concept of management? Okay, so that is your TMN standard. So those who want to work in core telecommunication field and you are managing a telecommunication network, you will be definitely using the TMN standard. Then comes uh, the famous one, IEEE standards. So the IEEE standard is used for LAN and MAN. They are concerned with the OSI layer one, that is the physical layer and your data link layer, that is your layer two. Okay, so both OSI and internet protocols, they use the ISI standard for the lower layer. So we have the IEEE 802.x series of specification and you know, those defines the standards for various physical media and data link protocol. Now we are not going to study IEEE standard because in your wireless network also, you will be uh, studying the IEEE 802.x series. So here it is just a concept of IEEE. Iska koi alag chapter nahi hai. So if I compare your TMN and your IEEE uh, standard, so TNM is the international standard given by ITUT. It is 
use for the management of telecommunication network based on OSI network management framework addresses both network and administrative aspect of management. It is used in ETOM industry standard for business process for implementing TMN using the NGOSS framework. Now ETOM, if I have written the full form, it is something enhanced telecom operation map. Okay, and NGOSS is the telemanagement forum. It is the business, it provides business solution framework for creating the next generation OSS or BSS software system. So we are not going into the detail of ETOMS. So full form or ek do sentences hi kafi hai. IEEE standard adopted internationally. It addresses land and man management. It adopts OSI standard significantly deals with the first two layer of OSI, RM is remote management. Okay, so you can see OSI standard is inbuilt everywhere, but we never directly say that we are using the OSI standard. We give a name to the standard, but the backbone remains the same. That is the OSI. So we need to understand the OSI standard. That's why your module two entirely uh, is dedicated to your OSI standard. So once you know the OSI standard, then you can build up on any uh, network standard based on your OSI. Now the last one is called as emerging technologies or we call it as the web-based enterprise management WebM standard. This is, you can see emerging technology that is uh, newly coming up. So the last category addresses several emerging management technologies. And this technology was found out by DMTF that is the desktop management task force. And it is based on the common information model, CIM data model transported using CIM operation over HTTP. No much information is there. We have only, never this question came also, but uh, sometimes if the faculty wants to ask some difficult question, they might uh, ask uh, a short note on emerging technologies, the web-based enterprise management standard. So I will give you one assignment where you will uh, make a short note of the uh, emerging technology, those standards, and that uh, group wise, you can put up those answers. Uh, you can share it in the class group so that at least if a short note comes, uh, you can write it. So the emerging technology standards are the web-based enterprise management. So one group can take up this WebM. Then you have the Java management extension, JMX, Okay, no much information is uh, given in your book, only uh, just uh, just is there and it is not there in our syllabus. Only the name is mentioned in the uh, network management standard, but still to be on the safer side, we will prepare all this. So XML uh, based network management and you have the CORBA based network management. So we will see if time permits, if we, uh, I will give the assignments to various assignments. So these four uh, points will be uh, given to four groups so you can make a presentation and you can share I will create a folder uh, you can upload it or you share it to um, share it with me on my mail and I can upload it in Moodle so that everybody can prepare one uh, short note because this all things are not there in my notes every year uh, I used to give as an assignment and uh, those assignments are shared by the students so preparation indirectly ho jata hai. so here you can see uh, this was the assignment given to the students and which i had to uh, collect it online because march onwards this was there so now this completes your seventh standard now if you had uh, seen my slide kya tha? i had created a slide on osi standard snmp and then i had this uh, table now you might feel ye table pehle se dikha dete. why I created this is just I wanted to highlight this. The same question, they might ask for five marks, they might ask for 10 marks. So if it is asked for just five marks question, suppose in your IA1 and you are writing about the network management standard, just draw this table and points of comparison. So ek page me, ya one and a half page me, you finish all these tables. Okay, table ka ye remaining part hai and this is the last 
last part of the table. If the same question comes for 10 marks, then you will be writing all these explanation. Okay, in my notes, this all are there. I have taken everything from there only so that your answer also looks comprehensive. So I hope you will remember for five marks, only the table of the five standard and for 10 marks, the table as well as this explanation. Okay, so this completes your network management standard. Now we will start with the OSI, actually the OSI standard. So we first start with OSI network management model. Okay, so there are four models. These four models will be present in your SNMP also. So uh, which are those models? Organization model, information model, communication model, and functional model. Today we will be uh, just seeing an overview of this uh, four model. And tomorrow onwards, we will go deeper into each uh, of these four models. So OSI network management models are of four types, organization, information, communication, and functional. Now, what do you mean by organization model? So please remember or write it somewhere. The organization model describes the components of a network management system, their functions, relations, and their infrastructure. Okay. Like in any uh, organization, kya kya rehta hai in an organization? Okay, we have the top management, we have the working team, we have the fourth class staff, okay, and we have the subscribers. So there is a structure. Okay, so what are the components? Wo components ke beech mein uh, kya relation hai? What are the functions that those components are performing? And finally, since we are talking about network, what is the infrastructure? So organization model may three things. This names already we have studied. There is an object, there is an agent, and there is a manager. So if somebody asks, what do you mean by organization models, which you should be able to tell, it is the model that describes the component. Kya kya cheese hai in my network management system? What are those uh, names, the functions, the relations, and their infrastructure? So, so we have only these three names. So we should be knowing what is an object, what function object is performing, who is an agent, what are those people who are sitting or are those software or are those hardware? Like managers, we feel like a person. Hai. Okay, agent, ha, we have those travel agent, we have those various agents, okay, LIC agent and are those people. Okay, so let us understand what is manager, what is an agent and what is an object okay so who is a manager so the manager manages the managed element manager sends request to the agent just uh, note down the points or the keyword humko lagta hai manager upar vaitha hai everybody will approach him no yaha pe ulta hai the manager sends request to the agent okay so the agent has to reply to the manager so that does not mean that agent ko zyada power hai manager se. No. For his management purpose, he might require some data. Okay. So to get that data, he sends request to the agent. Okay. And the agent will give the, like HOD asks us, no, ki give me the defaulters list. See? So if it's not exactly request, she's asking for some data and the class teacher provides the data. But the HOD is on the top position, then the class teacher. So that way. Then monitors alarm. Now who generates the alarm? The agent generates the alarm. Alarms are, I have specified earlier also, if there is some unwanted thing happening uh, or something which goes beyond the control, there is some malfunctioning of the network. So the agent generates or it sends a notification, alarm message to the manager. So the manager has to look how much alarm aya hai kya. So he has to monitor those alarm and he has to take a decision what has to be done. So the decision power lies with the manager. So the manager has to monitor those alarms. It houses the application. All the applications of the NMS lies with the manager. So at the lower level, we have agent or agent ke niche hai objects. 
so but the application lies with the manager it also provides user interface okay so the agent and object they are not providing the user interface the manager provides the user interface so please either you have noted down the keywords when i am explaining or you can write it after the lecture from the ppt or the uh, lecture recording which i upload okay so the manager manages the object sends request monitors alarm houses applications and provides user interface then comes the agent so the agent gathers information from the object see if we see the management model the manager is over here okay i am just drawing an oval box uske baad the hierarchy if we see here is the agent okay the agent is over here or agent is handling various you can say objects okay so these are the various objects so those are nothing but the network elements so network ke jo elements hain we call it by the name of so here it can be object 1 here it can be object 2 and so on there might be many network elements so the network elements are connected to the agent so the agent gathers information from these objects okay so objects are nothing but you can see the network element and we are trying to manage all the network elements or you can say components of the network it configures parameter of the object the next function it responds to manager's request in the function of manager we had seen that the manager requests the agent so it is the function of the agent to reply or you can say responds to manager's uh, request and it generates alarms and send them to the manager the manager monitors the alarm but alarm kon generate kar raha hai alarm generate kar raha hai agent see usually when everything is working normally manager ko laga ki theek hai let me check on some data so he sends request to the agent the agent is already collecting data from various objects so he has in his database all like ki at this point of time what is the throughput of the network what is the traffic what is the congestion status so ye data collect karta rehta hai agent the manager since he is monitoring he will ask for the data so he sends a request agent on getting that request he will send a reply so ye jo request aur reply hai these are the messages the management related messages that are getting exchanged if i talk about osi okay osi mein cmis se use hota hai common management uh, information service element so seven services hai so one of these services or you can say re request response so two services ho gaye so these are nothing but the manager uh, management related services okay so i am asking a request ye ek service ho gaya manager to agent agent sends a reply so that is one of the services so this way there are seven services which are uh, performed in your osi management now generates alarm what happens is manager ne mujhe kuch data nahi manga but if i just see ke manager ne data manga maine data diya so the agent we feel has less priority in the management aspect wo data collect karke to baitha hai okay like we have given some responsibility to the class teacher also aisa nahi ki hod ne default list manga and uh, then only the class teacher will give that uh, data suppose if the class teacher observes that the students are doing some mischief in a particular class they are not behaving constantly remaining absent for a particular lecture so since the class teacher is collecting or compiling the data from all the subject teacher and if the class teacher notices that something is wrong with this person subah ke lecture mein hota hai dopahar ke lecture mein nahi hota so all those analysis so the class teacher on his or her own will inform the manager or the hod ke baba i think something something is there can you speak with that particular student or something like that so means manage hod ne kuch nahi manga but class teacher on her own is feeling ki i should notify the manager 
so in that case we are giving some management related uh, rights even to the agent so just to include the agent in the management process otherwise it is it becomes just as a medium to transmit the information object se collect kiya apne database mein store kiya manager ne jab manga maine de diya nahi agar mujhe laga ki if there is some malfunctioning or something has happened at this end and the manager is unaware of it then it is my duty to raise an alarm to the manager so it generates alarm and sends them to the manager and seeing that alarms the manager will take some decision communicate it to the agent and then all those things will happen okay rectification will happen at the object end i hope the functions are clear i am just saying it i don't have any other option but you have to understand it you can stop me at any point of time but please listen to all these things the entire uh, duration of this syllabus we will be discussing everything with agent manager and object okay so you should be knowing what is an agent what is a manager what is an object so what is a managed object managed object and there are unmanaged object also managed object means there is a management process inbuilt in those particular object if i have a switch to a switch ke andar ek management related software inbuilt hai okay but there might be some objects which are unmanaged objects so that we will see later when we will study object in detail right now again it's an overview so what is a managed object kya hai the network element it houses the management agent and all objects might be either managed or unmanaged so then there are various ways in which i will handle the managed object it will be easier because wo already ek management process usme hai if i have a simple object who is just doing that function that function of that particular network and if i want to gather some data from it then we have to incorporate some other aspects to handle unmanaged object i hope this is clear all of you what is an agent what is a manager what is an object yes or no yes ma'am okay now this was your organization model okay so organization model we dealt with whatever are the components present okay and the relation okay the components were agent manager and object and we saw what is the function that is performed by all those uh, components next the second model is my information model so please please it's a request write down somewhere otherwise you are blank okay the information model deals with the structure and organization of management information abhi jaise we had seen manager sends a request agent gives a reply okay so when all these messages are getting exchanged management related message are getting exchanged there will be some structure no of that message there will be some organization of a message kaha se kaha pe jayega kis se kis ko jayega okay so the information model will deal with that structure and organization of management information so whatever management related information exchange is taking place between the object agent and manager your information model will deal with that structure of that message so your iso 10165 it specifies the structure of management information so what will be the structure of management information so that we call it as smi okay so iso ne wo structure of management information already specify kar diya hai so we need not make our own structure and how the information will be stored in the database that structure is also provided by iso 10165 so the structure of management uh, information we call it as the mib that is the management information base because see the agent is collecting all the information from the object okay so how it is getting collected it will be there in the mib so that is your management information based so smi agar kisi ne pucha ki smi kya hai full form to hai structure of management information so you 
please write down these two points because that explains in simple word what is your SMI and MIB. So SMI describes how the management information is structured. And MIB deals with the relationship as well as the storage of management information. Any information needs to be stored because if even for report generation, I need to uh, have the information stored in my thing. So in what way I will store that information? Some information I might require lifelong. Some might be there, okay, uh, for partic uh, particular amount of time and then I don't require, I can delete those information. Okay, so how will I store that information? So that is all dealt in MIB. So SMI describes how the management information is structured, structure from the full form, structure, information ka structure kya hoga and how do I store that information that is dealt by your MIB. Okay, is this clear all of you? What is the information model? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Only one yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Then comes communication model. Okay, so communication from the word, you might feel huh, something communication, I'm sending something, I'm receiving something. Okay, so communication is there. So something like that. So it is the third model in the OSI management. So there are three components. The management application process that functions in the application layer because those application process only is sending something. Okay, they are running in one device and they are trying to send something. And then the layer management between the layer. Okay, as we are dealing with the OSI standard, when the information is going on, it goes between through those layers, various layer functions. Okay, so in between also the layers, I need to have a management. So the communication management will deal with layer management and also individual within the layer also, what layer operation is being performed that are also present in the communication model. So the applications that are there in the application layer management of that is one of the component. Between the layers, I need management. That is also their second component. And within the layer also, related to the functioning of the layer, that there is also a management aspect present. See, we will study with diagrams and all Again, all these models in detail. Right now, it is just an introduction. What is or where I am using the communication model. So in one slide, I am finishing all the function. Then comes functional model. Now, you have already uh, heard this word, F caps. Okay, I will be using that throughout. So F, C, F, C, A, P, S. Okay. So F caps means the five functions. Remember in the functional grouping also when we were studying, I had said that ye five functions to perform karna hi hai. Apart from that, we have report and other two things were there. Okay, so the functional model is the fourth component of OSI management. It deals with the user-oriented requirement of the network management. So there are five functional areas which are defined by OSI. So they are the configuration management, fault management, performance management, security management, and accounting management. So these are defined as system management function in the OSI. So functional model of OSI, if the question comes, you are explaining F caps. Okay, so F caps part, remember, uh, in the first chapter also, I had showed you what is configuration, what are the parameters we are dealing, fault management, kya hai, performance, security, accounting. The same thing, the same literature or the same points are again present in the second module also because first was just introduction to FCAPs. Now when I'm studying the functional model of OSI, OSI also covers this five functional application. So again in module two, even if you see money's note, again these five points, the explanation remains the same. But two different kind of questions are there. Explain F caps. Again, you will find F caps in the fifth chapter. So such an important topic. Okay, so a question to iska aayega hi. Either they will ask from module one, module two, or module five. 
Okay, so the answer remains the same. Module five, you can add more points once you know what is fault management, what is performance management. Okay, security, you have you can write many things on your own because you know encryption, decryption. Okay, plus uh, as you finish all the models or the network management standard, you can write in detail about all these five points. Okay, so right now, just the uh, name, uh, the five functional application, F caps, please remember this name. So your functional model of OSI, say in TNM also, telecommunication management network, again, we have, because it is built on OSI standard. So separately, you will have the short note of F caps, but there we will write specifically with respect to your TNM standard. Okay, so I have, finished with whatever I wanted to cover. I will not go much because in next lecture, we will start with individual models and we will start with organization models. So I will end my lecture today, I think.